Hi, everybody. All right. Happy Saturday, October 24th, 2020. 11 years ago today, me and my beautiful wife Heather got married. Today is our 11th wedding anniversary, so this is to my beautiful wife. I was actually going to take her flying today, but I uh, woke up this morning and the clouds were all crapped over, so none of that will have to do that one another day. All right, so we're continuing to work on wiring up the control panel, control panel circuit breaker from the last time. Uh, you can see I'm slowly moving up the rows. Uh, again, again, it's very, well, it's not simple. Getting, to, getting prepped for this work is not simple. The work itself is actually simple. Uh, find the five wires that you need for a row, isolate them, wire tie them off to the rest of the bundle, turn them in towards the breakers, cut them at a certain spot, strip, crimp on the ring terminal, screw it in, and that's it. Now there are a couple places, and I, I'm, I'm trying to think of just exceptions for everything, right? So like I said in the last video, oh, doesn't that look nice? There's a little test fitting there. Uh, so like, um, there's five or six wires for equipment that hasn't been installed yet, but they're in the circuit panel right there. So uh, I put all of those in and I made sure they're all the right size and they're labeled and they're all sticking out the back. So there's that. Uh, there's a couple of places where I actually have a couple of wires going to the breaker, right? So like, uh, the pimp lights, it's two wires, they go to the breaker at the same time, right? Uh, let's see what else. My autopilot breaker has the autopilot controller, plus it also contains the roll servo, right? So things like that. Uh, there's a couple, I think there's like two or three. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. The USB chargers, they're on a big breaker. They, they get wired together. Uh, they'll all fit. Uh, the only thing I may have had to do different is uh, these are all held on by number six screws and uh, tiny little lock washers. So worst case scenario, if you've got like two wires to put onto a breaker, just make sure that you have slightly longer screws. So yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. We got some more Q&A today. Uh, someone was asking, let's see, who was this? Uh, let's see, uh, quick build versus slow build. You appear to be doing all slow build. Would you do quick build next time? Um, if I was doing the same plane again, maybe. You know what, even if I was doing a Vans again, maybe. I don't know. I really love the build process. Uh, knowing what I, knowing then, knowing now what I knew then, I would have taken, the first thing I would have done when I got the wings in, what I would have been just to deburr every part, right? I would just take the blue vinyl off and deburr every single part. Of course, I would also take a Sharpie and write, like, the name of the part on it. Absolutely. Uh, every single time. Uh, just just to get that part over with. Because that's the biggest, longest part. And, and while you're deburring, just keep deburring. As long as you're doing the same thing, don't stop and, like start working on something else that's just going to distract you and you're going to ruin your flow no no if you're in a flow go with the flow oh yeah so are you going with the new lycoming experimental engine i am not i am going with uh Lycon, it's an engine company down here in, uh, well, not here, it's in California, it's in Southern California. Uh, the engine I'm actually getting is going to be even more powerful than the new experimental. Um, the one thing I, I, and that's a good question, so the one thing I do wish I'd had is I just, anyone that's seen the new Kit Planes magazine has the article on the RV-14 with the new engine. <clears throat> right, it's lighter, more powerful. But also, Vans has now covered up the bottom tunnel, which was normally reserved for the exhaust, and it's got a basically a cowl flap in there. So I'm going to see if that kit's available, or at least a retro kit, because they did that to their stock 14A. I'm not sure how they did it. I can only assume with nut plates, etc. I mean, there's going to be carpet down in the footwell, so I don't mind if like there's some, you know, 
if there's a screw. Anything to pick up because I guarantee you. So the so the with the new engine they picked up like ten knots. Ain't no way you're doing that with just the engine. A lot of that is aerodynamics. So if I can pick some of that up as well, that's great. I mean, still, I mean, we're still all limited by the top speed, right? 200 knots, right? No matter how much power you got, at 220 knots, that tail's coming off. So I don't want that. All right, next video, more wiring. Have a great weekend, everybody. We love you. So uh, see you soon.